Warning! Tube amplifiers have lethal voltages inside them. Please do not attempt to build, test, or repair these without understanding and following all safety protocols. Okay guys, the first of my tubes came in that I ordered that I wanted to try in this amplifier. And I wanted to test out a theory I've had for a while about SE amplifiers and what makes them sound good. And I'll explain that to you at the end of the video after I show you the test results. So what we're going to try today is the totally unmodified amplifier. And we're going to do the first test run to show you the EL34 tubes and the rectifier tubes and the 12AX7 tubes that this amp comes with. And we're going to be just focusing on the THD versus power tonight. So we're going to do our first pull here. And as we've seen before, at 0.05 watts, it goes past 1%. It's at 7% at 1 watt, and it goes, it hits 10% at 2.6 watts, and the test shuts off. So let's scroll through some of these numbers here. At, at 1 watt, we've got 6% on one channel and 5.5% on the other. And then at 2 watts, we've got 9% on one channel and 8% on the other. And this audio analyzer suite rightly assumes that nobody's going to want to listen to music on an amplifier at over 10% distortion. And when we scroll down here, like I said earlier, as we go past 1%, it's at 0.04 watts. And if we go to 1% on the other channel, oh boy, we get up to 0.05 watts. So, all we're going to do today is change the output tubes. And we're going from the EL34 to a 6V6. And the EL34 handles 25 watts of plate dissipation. And we're only using just a little over 50% of its rated plate dissipation. And we're replacing it with a 6V6, which is a 14 watt plate dissipation tube. And the other big difference between these tubes is the EL34 is looking for a 3.5K output transformer load and a 6V6 is looking for a 5 to 6K load. Now we can simulate that load on this amplifier by putting an 8 ohm load on the 4 ohm tap because the output transformer impedance is based on a reflection of the load on the output. We've hooked up our 8 ohm loads to the 4 ohm taps and we've replaced the EL34 tubes with 6V6 tubes. Made no other changes to the amplifier. Same rectifier, same 12AX7 tubes. Like I said, the only thing that I've done to this amplifier is I've gone through and double checked all the component values. They're all within a couple of percent of what the schematic shows. And I also reflowed all the solder joints to make sure that there weren't any cold solder joints or any other abnormalities causing this horrible distortion that we're seeing the amplifier produce as delivered. So let's do this next run. And this one again is with the 6V6 tubes with the speaker loads that's an 8 ohm put on the 4 ohm taps. And here we go. And as you can see, the distortion's already much, much lower. What do you know? We haven't even gone by 1% yet. 
at one watt and what a humongous difference. At one watt, we've got less than 1% distortion. At two watts, we're right at or a little over 1.5%. At three watts, we're at 3%. And at four watts, we're a little over 4%. And I'm sure this is this range here is where the tube's going into clipping. And right there at 5 watts, we've still got under 10%. Guys, this is a huge win. And this modification, it's not even a modification. And guys, these aren't even fancy tubes. These are just some cheap JJ6V6S tubes. And this is not touching anything else in the amp. All you need to do is pull out those EL34 tubes that this thing comes with, drop a couple of 6V6s, hook your speakers up to the 4 ohm taps, and this is what you get out of it. I'm shocked, but I'm not. And the theory that I've come up with from working on SE amplifiers, you need to run the output tubes within an inch of their life if you really want to get good performance out of an SE amplifier. And you just have to live with knowing that. These tubes are now running a little over 90% of their maximum plate dissipation. I think it's at 92%. And given how cheap these tubes are, honestly, I don't care if their lifespan shortened. This is going to sound so much better than the amp does with those EL34 tubes running at 52% of their plate dissipation. And that's what's wrong with this amp, is they're trying to run the tubes super cold for whatever reason, and all you get out of it is bad sound. Like I said, I've got some other tubes coming. I've got some other cathode resistors coming. I've got some ideas of trying possibly doing the LED and re resistor bias on the driver tubes, maybe going with a higher plate load resistor. You know, I would like to see us get, you know, six, six watts out of this thing, but we're getting almost five watts out of this thing, admittedly with a lot of distortion, with these 6V6 tubes without doing anything to the amp. And obviously, you know, upgrading some coupling capacitors and doing some other things, but I am overjoyed with how simple it was to make this amplifier run right. And I honestly believe that this amp was originally designed as a 6V6 amp. So anyway, I'm not going to make a long video out of this. I don't you know, there'll be longer ones as part of this series, but if you want to do the minimum possible, you're not a do-it-yourselfer, you don't like modifying stuff, I really think this is the fix, is just jerking out those EL34 tubes and putting some 6V6 tubes in it. Now, I am going to go hook this thing up to my system, listen to it, see if it sounds decent now. It didn't really change the frequency response, which I'm not shocked. But obviously the frequency versus noise changed, and we'll do some other videos about that. And like I said, I want to listen to it some, come back and do a, a listening impressions thing, and maybe show you all the noise versus frequency, or the THD versus frequency. But I was so excited seeing this, I wanted to share this with you ASAP, the other tubes, the 7591s, they're not going to be here probably till Saturday. So anyway, hope you're enjoying the series. Hope you're enjoying the channel. If you are, please subscribe. Please like the video. And I'll see you soon for more A12 fun. Have a great day.